So how's it going guys, it's Jordan here and welcome to another San Andreas multiplayer tutorial. Um, I'd like to thank you for the great response on the last video, it got over 200 views which is uh, which is pretty good for me, it's probably not the best for like the bigger YouTubers but for me 200 views is loads so thank you very much for that. Um, I thought I would do another tutorial but this time I would show you how you can actually change your character's skin, so the way he appears. Uh, my character is dressed as a serial killer, as you can tell, just dressed in fully black, looking looking suspicious as usual. Um, and also, I'm going to be showing you how you can buy your first car. Um, I kind of got interrupted there by my paycheck coming through, so I'm just going to quickly sign that. Um, and then it asks you to like write in a code, so 837145. Ignore that, it doesn't really matter, I'm just... Um, just happens to pop up, you get a little bit of money every hour you play. But anyway... Um, First off, you want to start by um, finding the nearest business. So in our case, we're looking for a clothes store. So you just type in the chat "nearest business" like so, and then once nearest, once you've typed in that and you press enter, a load of um, a load of options will come up. We're going to click on clothes store, and then what it will do is it will put a red checkpoint on the map to the nearest clothes store. So I've kind of like purposely parked just down the road from it because I already knew know where it was. Um, if you're on the opposite side of town, however, I think there's one near Grove Street, and then it should put the red checkpoint to there. Um, but in our case, it's just here in the center of town. So once you get there, to enter the building, you just do slash enter, like so. And then once you're inside, you don't have to really walk around. You can just stand here and type slash buy. And then it will basically ask you to enter an ID for the way you want to look like. So um, in the description, I'm going to link a wiki page for SAMP which basically shows you all of the skin IDs along with a picture of what the skin looks like so say for example you like the look of 56 and um, you know you want to choose that you just put that in there I think it goes up to 200 so 0 to 200 I'm going to write in 56 I'm going to press buy and I would be a woman of course yeah <laughs> um, anyway I'm just going to change that back to the way it was um, and that's just pretty much how it was mine is actually 33 for the serial killer like so so if you want to try that out then feel free to to exit the building you just do slash exit and then you will now my car has moved for some reason you will now look like the way you want to be so um if you just look at that website it will show you all the pictures and the skin ids bearing in mind that it i just got out my car <laughs> bearing in mind that it does cost you uh 250 dollars each time so um if you don't have too much money then you could just stay as the default skin for a while if it's not really uh not really an option to you. I just do it because it distinguish, distinguishes you from you know everybody else. It makes you look unique. So um, yeah, that's pretty much making your character look the way you want him to look. Um, the next thing we are going to do is find ourselves a dealership to buy a car. Um, in order to do this, you just go back into the chat and type find dealership like that. Um, if you don't remember any of these commands, by the way, whilst you're playing, you can actually ask people. So all that blue chat there is uh, people asking questions and then other people ho he helping. I almost said hoping there. Um, do slash noob and then space, like N-E-W-B, and then ask your question and then people will answer it straight away usually. Um, we're going to be going to the Grotty dealership, which is where they sell the Sultan, which is what I'm driving right now. So um, just like before, it puts a red checkpoint on your uh, on your map and then you pretty much just drive to it. Oh, in this case, if you are going to buy a car, you'll probably be running. Um, on some servers, they do offer taxi services. Um, on this server, however, taxi services aren't really a popular thing because there's just so many cars lying about that uh, people can just pretty much steal them. Um, it's still good to have your own car, though, even though there's loads of cars um, floating about the area. Um, it's still a good idea to buy your own car. So I'm just going to run into the red checkpoint to make it disappear. And then, as you can see, you have like a wide selection of cars here. Um, these aren't all the cars on the server by the way, there are a lot more dealerships as you may have noticed so I'm just going to write that in again. These are all different dealerships here so you have Sapphire and you have Diamond. Those two dealerships, um, Sapphire and Diamond, you can't actually access unless you are a, di um, a Sapphire donator or a, a Diamond donator which is like a monthly subscription to the server. Um, I'm not too sure how much it is but if you're, not, if you're just a casual player like me then you're probably not really too bothered but Grotty is probably the best one for uh, like sports cars and stuff so once you get to here if you want to buy the Sultan you just press F to enter the car and then what it will do is it will say would you like to buy this vehicle for $50,000 um, just press buy if you have the money if you don't have the money then feel free to go for a cheap car along there but I'm not really going to buy it because um, 
already have like a sultan just sitting here so I'm just going to enter this and then once you've actually bought your sultan or whatever you call your bot it should spawn I believe it just spawns out here like this it'll just be parked on the sidewalk like that um your vehicle you see the way I type slash PV lock and it says vehicle unlocked and then when I press it again it'll say um, vehicle locked if you when you first buy a car you will not have a lock installed on your car um, you will need to go buy a lock so I'm just gonna go drive down here to the uh, to the 24 7 and um, these are marked on the map as like pink milkshake cartons off it I think like as you can see here there's one there and um, there's some more up here but for some reason they aren't showing on my map there's a lot more also just like all around the area um, but once you've found your you know closest 24 7 which is probably this one from the dealership you do the same command as before just slash enter and then you do slash buy and then you'll have the option to buy yourself a vehicle lock down here at the bottom press buy on that and then what you'll do is um, you don't really want the alarm lock because people can actually still steal your car except for like 30 seconds a uh, an alarm will sound from your car but people can still steal it so you probably want to buy yourself an industrial lock you press buy and then it'll say up here what current car you have spawned in so I have the Sultan spawned in which is vehicle number five if you've never bought a car before it'll probably be vehicle number one um, assuming that you've never bought a car if you bought a car before it might be two three or four or five even um, and then you just type in there and press five and then press select and then that'll install a lock on your car I'm just gonna press cancel because I've already got a lock on my car um, to exit same again just do slash exit like before in the uh, close shop and then now that your lock is installed your car should be pretty much automatically unlocked so I'm sitting here pressing F right now and uh, I can't get into it until I go near it and type slash PV lock which stands for personal vehicle lock and then it will say vehicle unlock you do need to be near the car to do this by the way and then um, just pretty much type it in again and then that will lock your vehicle for you so um so yeah, that's um that's pretty much the basics for a car. Um, if you don't want no one stealing your car, then you just do um, PV lock, like I said. Um, I definitely recommend buying a lock. So um, make sure you save up about 55k first. Um, if you watched the last video, I've shown you how you can earn money in that video. So um, if you're stuck for earning money, just go back and watch that video. That will show you a couple of ways of earning money pretty fast, and then um, you should be able to save up like for a car or something. Um, once you've probably saved up for a car and you know you're driving it around a little bit and you've carry on doing your job and you've probably got like say I think it, I think the maximum amount you can save up say say if you want to save up two thousand um, dollars you can then uh, pretty much pimp your car so um if you want to go into the uh, the transfender which you do by I think it's doing find car tuning like so and then this will bring up a load of like mod shops for your car if you have the uh, if you have the Sultan you will need to drive all the way over to San Fierro which is on the second island but then once you press that that'll show you a um, I'm just scroll out here this will show you a checkpoint over on the second island which is just here and then you can then mod your car by adding rims or whatever you would like to add to it which is pretty cool um, I am going to show you one more thing just to if you want to change the color of your car you can do slash color car and then type in the ID of um of what color you want so if you want to call your car blue I believe it's two and then that'll do it like so it's a very light blue but yeah um, if you find the ID on a link I'll put in the description for all the uh, car colors um, just like these skin IDs then you just pretty much type in the uh, same ID twice so if you are going for the color uh, I don't know what three is going to be but say if the ID for three is green just type three twice and then that will pretty much change the color of your car to whatever color three is which is pretty cool so um you do need to buy spray cans however from the uh from the from the 24 7 but yeah um that's pretty much it if you did enjoy then um i would deeply appreciate a like any comments uh, any questions you have then feel free to put them in the comment section below and i'll thank you for watching so goodbye